Recipes Anna Montalban Arquez Falling Walls Lab, Switzerland Good afternoon, everyone. Most of us know someone that has suffered from cancer, or even worse, that has died from it. And this is because, in fact, only in the last year, there were more than 19 million new cases of cancer reported worldwide. And in the same year, almost 10 million people died of cancer. But this is an increasing problem, since these incidents and mortality numbers are expected to increase at 50% by 2040. Although in the last years the therapies have improved, they still present a limited efficacy in many patients. And one of the reasons behind is the severe side effects that these therapies cause when increasing the dose, which include hair loss, nausea, fatigue, and infertility. Therefore, there is an urgent need for the development of new therapeutic options for cancer patients. In our lab, we found out by performing metagenomic analysis of human studies, including five different geographical regions, that there are certain bacterial strains that are drastically reduced or even depleted in colorectal cancer patients compared to healthy individuals. And therefore, we wonder whether we could give back to those patients what they are lacking in order to treat or even prevent the development of colorectal cancer. To test our hypothesis, we performed extensive in vivo studies using mouse tumor models. And here we could see that while in control mice, the immune cells remain in the periphery of the tumor, they were not able to infiltrate and therefore kill the tumoral cells. When treating the mice orally with a mix of two commensal bacterial strains that are normally found in the gut of every healthy individual, we could observe a massive infiltration of immune cells. And these immune cells were not only more active, but also more cytotoxic, being able of killing the tumoral cells in a very efficient way. What we are doing now is to develop a live biotherapeutic product based in the lyophilized form, meaning freeze-dried form, of these two commensal bacterial strains. And why lyophilized? Because it presents a high stability, a long shelf life, and an easy administration, since we are talking about an oral therapy making it also more accessible to those patients with a limited access to hospitals. Interestingly, we could validate our results not only in several models of colorectal cancer, but also in lung cancer, breast cancer, and melanoma models. In summary, our ultimate goal is to provide cancer patients with a more effective and a more accessible therapeutic option, while minimizing side effects, since our novel therapeutic approach is purely based on commensal bacteria. Thank you very much. <laughs>